Hello and welcome to Fridge Cam with Sorted Food. Now today is one of the days I absolutely hate here at Sorted. It's chefs versus normals. And this is where we get an expert in to test us on a skill that we really should know, should know. but perhaps maybe don't know as well as we think we should know. And when we don't know it, we get shocked. Simple. Hey, pasta, mm -hmm. this really should be easy. Yeah. Practice does make perfect, but it's a pretty, it's a pretty easy thing. It's not like a very oh, and cuisine. they have made pasta so many times it, on sorted. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Okay, if we start from the beginning. Yes. Ratios. Ratios. So generally, we say a hundred grams of flour. Yeah. Good quality double zero flour. Yeah. Another key point. Two one egg. is yep. About enough. It's just a very large portion for one person. Scale it up scale it down for more or less. And that should be easy, but then we're doing coloured pasta. So once you add the colour, you might be adding extra liquid from spinach or beetroot or whatever it is. So that's when you might need a little bit of more extra flour just to make it. Basically, mm -hmm. the point is you want dough that feels like Play-Doh once you've mixed it all together. So carbonara is pretty hard, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's I things... screw it up quite often. <laughs> Okay, should we do this? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get them Taking in. this with me. Yeah. That is good. <laughs> you are playing with fire. Back to that! Oh no! <laughs> I've already established a vendetta vibe between Good. you and Romina. <laughs> wow, there is nowhere we could go wrong on this. Mm. Ah! What was that for? I'm just saying, be careful of cross-contamination because that beetroot does stain. I would like to thank you for <laughs> highlighting that to I me. I don't know if you need to peel the beetroot. Okay. Beetroots grow beneath the ground, therefore, I'm holding this, it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst I'm waiting for my beetroot to come up to the boil, I'm going to steep some saffron in as little water as possible. I've boiled a kettle for you, my friend. Thank you. I thought Barry would be the issue in this episode because I know what he can get like when he has power. Yeah. But actually, <laughs> I know it's all right. It's, it's all right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? You need to squeeze the excess water out of the spinach. Oh no, what? Do I need a machine? Another machine? Puree? Or do I just keep it blitzing for longer? Only one way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> so then we'll have. Oh, sorry, I meant to change the mode. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you've got flour there, there's also flour there. Dusting. Dusting flour? Scales? There's some more flowering looking stuff in here. Mm, this looks so like much corn flour. Is this cornmeal? Okay, so we need 125 grams. Boomtown, 125 grams. Nicely <clears> done. Perfect. Oh, they make like Mount Etna, don't they? And then they. Yeah, and with the, the egg. Go for it. <laughs> Pinch of salt. Egg in there. Nice. Oh, they Thank stole you. the volcano. <laughs> <laughs> stole the volcano. What? I have to stay in the middle. Oh, and, and actually, they've not, ah! added, they've not added the colour to the egg before mixing. What? What? Two sachets of squid ink and make black pasta first. I know that this isn't good. What gave, what gave it away? <laughs> I think you're fine. You've worked it well. The flour's in. It is dark and it will get darker. With my colour in my egg, I now need to put the egg in here and bring it together with a fork. Mm. <gasps> I know, it's spilled out. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the fridge. OK. Mm. Ah! <laughs> it's on the volcano, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Mm. <laughs> 
So the problem with beetroot is you've slightly overcooked it, therefore there's a lot more water content in it. So slightly undercooked beetroot is better. And the better than that is roasting it. How's the consistency on that, Mike? Like Play-Doh. Mm. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what flour do you use when you make this, guys? Pasta flour. Yeah. Which is? Strong. It's got high gluten mm. content. None of the answers I'm looking for. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> what about if the number was zero, zero? Oh, zero, zero. Oh, 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 oh. So we've decided that you give them a vibrate when they're doing well and a shock when they're doing badly. What kind of salt do you use? <laughs> <laughs> Rock salt. Oh no. Mm. Give them a no. Rock salt's the worst type you use. Is it? Yeah, what because about you get bumps in it which then shred when you roll it through the roller. So you you should have table, table salt. salt. Ah, well that was my second option. Right. Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <bad thing. laughs> You've left the pasta out in the air without any cling film on it, which means the air gets to it and creates a crust. Nice. Happy, happy? Happy. Mm. Yeah! What have I done? The first time you go through, you should fold it into thirds. So see how much nicer your edges are now. Oh, yeah. That's a great tip. Good tip. <laughs> what I would do at this point is fold it in half and maybe don't go back down to one, but go to like a three and you probably have to go through it again. I mean, the, the beauty of pasta, it is literally like Play-Doh, so you can kind of just play around with it. It is okay. looking quite dry, but I can't feel it, so you So might... would, you, would you not put it down back on the flour? Again? Yeah, I'd probably try and avoid having <laughs> too much excess flour. Yeah. It's business time. Jamie's back in the game. Ta-da. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I'm not even that good at a carbonara. Mm. So if I'm not good at a carbonara, these guys have got quite a bit of So therefore, you're an expert at getting it wrong. You know, yeah. You know what to look out for. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the arm every time. What? You probably don't need to put oil in the pan. Now, the chef special is very close. Mike had the first half. Yeah. I think Jamie stole the second half. Yeah, I think it might be right. It's all on the carbonara. One whole egg. Rolling boil. Rolling boil. Grab a teaspoon of the starchy water. That goes in here. Then it saves us Jamie. <laughs> This simply comes down to the fact that you don't really want to be putting in the squid ink pasta into a carbonara. Why have we made it then? Why would we make squid ink pasta? Because we're going to say that later Ramina's on. Ramina's favourite. Ramina's favourite is squid ink Ramina, pasta. would you want some squid ink pasta in your so you carbonara? I'm going to have squid ink with fish. Fine, throw it on the floor. <laughs> what? I'd probably put a bit more in. Oh. Like, like, you kind of want like a nice ladleful. Oh, Jay! Done. Done. Off the heat. <laughs> right, into the condor, into the sink. Stir. Have we done it? I think we've done it. Can you please tell us who the chef special is? Duh. Coming past that, I think Mike had it down. Yeah. With confidence. Jamie actually just sat back and did nothing. That's your pasta making the section. The rolling part of it. Um, I think Jamie upped his game there. Yeah. Uh, took influence from uh, his, uh, his Italian wife. Agreed. And led that bit. So now for me, it's completely even. It's down to you. I've picked this winner because I think in terms of true effort, they mm. were particularly good. Mm -hmm. Three, 
two, two one. one. No! Mm. Ah! <laughs> I heard yours buzz before mine shocked. <laughs> I'm so sorry, mate. <laughs> so but why? knowing that Jamie has Italian roots, then he should know more, is my opinion. Oh. Oh. And there we go, a proper homemade pasta carbonara with a little bit of help from aversion therapy and uh, Romina from the Kappa Sisters. Now, my, ah, no, Romina has actually done uh, a workshop which will help you learn how to make homemade pasta with a lot less pain than we've had to go through. And if you go on there, it's a great platform where you can learn everything just by doing and not by anything else. It's fantastic. Check out the link in the description box below. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. That is perfectly on, isn't it? Yeah, it's smoky, it's full of bad bitter. <laughs> I think we're there, boys. I think, to be honest, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. No! 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 When the moon hits your eyes like a big pizza pie, that's a boring. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's delicious. That's so good. This is just my baby in Italy. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe, and check out workshop in the link box down below. Because otherwise, what is the entire point of us doing it? Please. <laughs> 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 If you want to give this recipe a go without the electrocution, you can get the full recipe down below. And if you want to put it into practice properly, then learn by doing. You can do the workshop down below as well. Now I'm going to have to pretend to be happy and do a dad joke of the week, aren't I? Please do. Put a smile on all of our faces. Why don't you starve in the desert? I have no idea, Jamie. Why don't you starve in the desert? Because of all the sand which is there. <laughs> No, no, that one, I, <laughs> I will use that one. <laughs>